I'm Eric Reese. I sell real estate for a living, which allows me to fly and instruct in the Aerostar. Join us on our travel and training adventures in the world's fastest light piston twin. All right, Aerostar start procedure. Uh, passenger brief complete, seat belts checked and on. Masters on, we'll go through the flow. Left and right alternator both on, we'll turn the beacon on. And uh, know the ice is did. Come across and we'll turn the fuel on the left side to on. Cross feed, make sure the light is on, back to on. Center breakers are in, prop sync is manual, props are forward. Mixtures are idle cut off and uh, throttles closed. Come on down here and make sure the bleed air is on. We're in the uh, deflate mode on the door seal and we should be normal dump. Alternate air is closed. Come back up to the other side. Fuel on, cross feed on, lights on. You can barely hear the cross feed motor. And make sure the uh, hydraulic uh, valve is open. Voltage is good. And the blower's off, two heater uh, knobs are in. Check the uh, right side breakers. Hydraulic uh, pressure's off, air conditioning and fans off. Check the lights on the fire and it's uh, on. That'll be a tone a little bit later on. With this airplane, um, I'll just set the uh, JPIs to read RPM so I have a more accurate reading. Uh, fuel, ox fuel tank is on the uh, uh, normal position, or actually it's off in the center position. And we'll check the lights, all those are good. Check the enunciator panel, all lights are on. And the uh, door seal is electric. Not normal, normal people think is normal, but that's not. That's uh, the way it used to be when you're running the uh, door seal off the uh, pneumatic pumps. Uh, autopilot master's off, radio master's off. And I got a couple of switches that are avionics related that are both uh, in the on position. So that's all good. So to prime, this warm out's about uh, 73 or four degrees. Open the throttles about an inch and uh, we'll go ahead and turn the boost pump on high on the right engine to start with. And we'll also notice if I bring the uh, hydraulic pressure down a little bit, that's the engine driven pump and the hydraulic pressure will come up after we start. So the prime is boost pump on high, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. So about four seconds and we'll Bring the uh, throttle up till it starts to bind a little bit and then move it up about an eighth of an inch. All clear to the right. Nice easy start. Mixture comes up to uh, full rich. And oil pressure's coming up. RPM's about 900 on the uh, gauge. And about, uh, it's coming up about 840 now, 870 on the uh, JPI. That's a really nice start. And next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the uh, boost pumps in this airplane has a low, double check, make sure I got pressure, and then back to off, which is telling me that the uh, engine driven pump is working correctly. I'll close the door on the left side so I don't have to hear it. And we'll go ahead and uh, turn the boost pump on high on the left. Throttle open one, Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four. Back down to idle cutoff. Throttle closed. So when it starts to bind, move it up about an eighth of an inch. All clear left. Run it on up. No overspeed on the start. That works really good. All pressure's good. And boost pump to low. Hydraulic pressure's good. And we'll come back to off. That's looking all good. <laughs> 